Hi guys, this is Lauren from Farewell Flub with my first vlog, which I'm a little bit excited about. Um, I'm currently stuck in bed because I have injured my back. Um, not so much as an injury as I just have the worst DOMS imaginable in my lower back from ridiculous deadlifts yesterday and well I thought I'd do a vlog because um, I can't really do anything else tonight which I'm a bit sad about but this is my first vlog I have stolen my husband's GoPro so I'm sorry Michael for uploading photos on it and I don't know how to use it properly but I'm sure I'll figure it out and yeah welcome so I decided to do a vlog because um, I think I'll do it as a weekly check-in it's just another way to keep me accountable I love 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 my tumblr um, I love all you beautiful people who comment on my posts and keep me going and all the amazing things that everyone puts on there and keeps me going and I really feel so accountable to you guys and to myself more than ever so Hopefully a little weekly check-in with a little vlog and a little update um, will, yeah, make, make me be even more accountable and hopefully every week I'll have some awesome news for you guys. So um, I thought I'd talk about what's been going really well this week, what's been a bit iffy, and then um, there was a few questions that you guys sent through that were pretty much what I wanted to talk about anyway. So that's what I will cover off today. So what's been good this week? Um, my eating was pretty awesome. I've been doing this nasty thing lately where I get to the weekends and shit just goes out the window and I decide to eat whatever I want whenever I want, which is crazy. Um, and probably not really helping my progress and I have to stop. So this weekend I was really good. Um, I had a few crazy meals on Saturday out of my normal times that I'd normally eat and... I left it, I kept going, because, yeah, that's what happened. Wow, I'm not very good at vlogging so far, sorry. Um, so, yeah, my eating's been going really well. Um, I've been back on the intermittent fasting um, bandwagon, which I know is very popular in the Tumblr world at the moment. Um, I had tried intermittent fasting quite a few months ago when I first went primal, um, but I was picking stupid hours, wasn't fitting in with my workouts, it pff, was not doing it well. Um, this time I have to find my eating hours to be between 1.30 and 9.30. Normally I'm done eating by about 8.30 anyway and that's working really well. So the reason that I chose intermittent fasting is because I read a lot into its effects on insulin, um, which I think will really help with my polycystic ovarian. So that's something that I do suffer from. Um, polycystic ovarian means that you have, amongst other things, um, insulin resistance, and insulin resistance leads to increased testosterone, which leads to fun things like hair loss, I have bald spots everywhere, um, chin hair, which I've plucked all out, and other fun, disgusting things. So, if I can keep my insulin levels regulated and down, um, hopefully that will allow me to keep my testosterone levels down and get rid of some of those horrible polycystic ovarian syndromes, symptoms. So that's my aim and what I'm hoping intermittent fasting will continue to help me with. So I've been doing it for about two weeks now. Um, I feel slimmer. Um, as you know, I've broken up with the scales, so I do not weigh myself and uh, my clothes are fitting better and my progress photos from the past two months have been awesome. So I'm really happy with that. Um, what's not gone so great this week is obviously I have hurt my pack. Um, all day I've been whinging at work, lying on the ground in spasms and pain because my back has just had the worst case of DOMS. I didn't hurt it at the time, it's just this morning I've woken up and it is so painful. It's been spasming all day long. Now, I'm really pissed off at my body that it didn't, like, warn me at the time that I was maybe going a bit too hard, but... Hey, what's done is done, um, just have to rest it out. Um, that's all I can do. I missed my first mobility class at my barbell club tonight, which I was very disappointed at because I was really excited for it. Um, so hopefully I'll be better tomorrow for my heavy leg session. 
Other than that, um, the only thing that's been bad this week is my hair does will not stop falling out, which is driving me mad. Um, at the moment I'm on metformin and I'm on spirolactane um, for my PCOS, which is meant to be helping with this hair loss, but it's not. So if anyone knows any amazing miracle cures or has experienced this before, please talk to me because I really feel very alone. Um, there's a few of you lovely people who have showed me how much of your hair is falling out, but if anyone has managed to overcome this problem, I am all ears and would love to hear about your experience. Um, one of the questions that I got in my ask box was around why I broke up with the scales and how to do it. So, I broke up with the scales because I had become really obsessive with them. So, I was defining my whole health, my weight loss, pretty much my value as a person on what the scales were telling me. I would get up every morning, the first thing I'd do is put get on the scales. Um, I'd do a wee, get on the scales. If I did a poop, I'd get on the scales. I'd have a shower, I'd hop out, I'd get on the scales again. Um, so normally I'd weigh myself two to three times before I even got dressed or left the house. Um, I'd go to work, I'd get home from work, I'd jump on the scales again. Um, I'd eat dinner, I'd jump on the scales again. I <laughs> I think you get the picture, but honestly, it was that bad. I would minimum weigh myself three, three would be absolute minimum, but five was probably about average. Um, I'd have dinner, uh, just before I go to bed, I'd weigh myself again. I could tell you my average weight before poop, after poop. Um, I could tell you pretty much how much my clothes weighed, because if I weighed myself clothed, I knew how much I would weigh if I took my clothes off. Mental, absolute mental. So I had to quit the scales. Um, and the only way to do that was to go cold turkey. I started by telling myself, oh, I'll just weigh myself once a week. No, I couldn't do that. Um, I'm an addict. <laughs> I have an addictive personality. I had to just completely get rid of the scales. So that's, that's what I did. Now, my main motivation behind getting rid of the scales, besides obviously being obsessive about them, is that I really learnt that my weight loss journey isn't defined by the weight that I'm going to hit. So in my head I had that I was always going to hit 70 kilos and that was my goal. Now I really redefined where I was going because 70 kilos is just some arbitrary number that I set for myself and it didn't really mean anything. So I really had a look at what I wanted to achieve and why I was losing weight. So I'd been on a plateau for a long time. I'd been on a plateau for two or three months where I'd barely lost any weight. Now, there's all these reasons why I thought it could have been my food, it could have been that I wasn't exercising as much, but realistically, I just was kind of faffing about because I didn't really have a true goal. So, 70 kilos wasn't a goal that I was aiming towards, it was just a number and it wasn't motivating me, it wasn't inspiring me to achieve anything. So... In my head I sat down and I thought, well what is it that I actually want to do? And that is, I really want to do powerlifting. So I've been working out with my coach for a while, um, I never told him that I wanted to do powerlifting, I hadn't told any of my friends, I hadn't told my family, um, but I just decided I had to own it. What was I afraid of? Why was I scared that people would think I was crazy or think less of me if I wanted to be a powerlifter? Like who cares? Um, so that's what I'm doing, I'm being a powerlifter. Now, my goals now around my health and my weight have nothing to do with what that number on the scales is. So that was my main motivation. I don't care anymore what the number on that scale is. So you may notice that I'm still trying to convince myself of this belief because all of us have had it ingrained in us for so long that our weight loss and our health is all defined by that number on the scales. And it's a pretty good measure. I mean, you lose weight, the number on the scales goes down, but it's not everything and it's so easy to become obsessed with it. So I don't get on the scales anymore. I've defined my success by a couple of couple of things. So my how to break up with the scales is this. Number one, you have to go cold turkey. Um, you can't say, oh, I'll just weigh myself every week. Um, no, if you truly want to give, give up the scales, just get rid of them. What do you need them for? What's your goals? Really define your true goals of where you're headed. Number two, 
Um, crap, what is number two? Wow, I forget. This was going really well until now. Um, yeah, number two really is around goals, I guess. So think about your goals outside of what the scales are. So for me, I want to do powerlifting. I want to have smaller pants. That's another outcome of my weight loss. But the scales aren't going to tell me that I have smaller pants. In fact, the scales have stayed the same for a long time and my pants have got smaller. So the scales are lying to me. Um, think about it that way. What other things do you want to achieve in your health and weight loss journey that aren't to do with the number of, on the scale? And focus on them. Focus all of your attention on achieving those things rather than the number that the scale spits out. Because especially for us women, it is so crazy. Like... Uh, if shark weeks about I can go up three kilos in two days with fluid retention like it's not a measure of anything really important if you're eating well if you're exercising it only naturally follows that you're going to lose weight you're going to feel healthier and that at the end of the day is all that matters that's why we're losing weight so you don't need the scales to tell you you're doing a good job you know if you're eating well you know if you're exercising results will follow so there's a lot of number three, there's a lot of other ways that you can define your success. So in the gym is obviously one thing, which is what I really focus on now is hitting my PRs and hitting good numbers. Um, other ways is by the tape measure. So please be careful not to replace one obsession with another. So I gave up the scales and then immediately started measuring my waist every day because I'm loco. So please do not do that. Um, I now don't weigh myself, I don't get out the tape measure, I just have to cold turkey, go without all of these things because I am a complete addict. So <laughs> if, the, if a measuring tape works for you and you can do it like every two weeks or every month or so, do it. Just be aware that obviously that the results are going to come through a bit slow. They're not going to show that you've lost a centimetre every day or inches, however you crazy imperial people measure things. Um, just keep that in mind. But my biggest thing is photos. You may notice lately that I'm just flooding my blog with photos. And that's because I'm taking lots of them. Um, I've always taken them every two months, but I've been taking them a bit more often lately. Um, especially flexing my muscles and things like that. Because that really shows how much progress I've made. And every time I look at my photos, I am astounded. The scales may not have moved, so I think over the past four months I'd lost four kilos, but you can see how much my body has changed. It is ridiculous. The scales tell me hardly, like, hardly anything has changed, but all it takes is looking at photos just to see how different I am. So, pff, scales, don't need them. Um... Now, of course, a lot of people are still going to want to weigh themselves, and that's fine. If you're not obsessive like I am about weighing yourself, go for it. Another reason why I did give up the scales, and I know this is applicable to a lot of people, is because it really affects your mood. So, I would get up in the morning, and if I weighed myself and it was a good day, I'd be like, fuck yeah, look at me go, I'm awesome, and I'd have a great day. It really defined my attitude for the day. Now, if I got on the scales and I had a bad day, whew, watch out, I ate like shit, I binged, I ate like 4,000 calories in a day, I ate a whole cake, it was mental. Um, do not let the scales define your mood. So if you can get on the scales and purely be subjective about it, that's awesome. But make sure you're just putting yourself in the best possible frame of mind for the scales when you're going to get on them. Don't weigh yourself if you've got your period. Don't weigh yourself if you're a few days before your period. Don't weigh yourself on Fridays. Uh, on Mondays, sorry. Um, I have someone who sent me an ask that weighs themselves on Monday. No. Especially if you're me. I'm more likely to have eaten crap on the weekend. And that doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to put on weight because I ate crap. No, you can't. I'm not going to eat that much that I put on weight. Um, but I might eat things that are higher in salt. I might have some alcohol. I might retain fluid. Fluid retention is my speciality. So if you can, if you want to keep weighing yourself, I'd weigh yourself on Friday afternoon because it's going to show all the awesome work that you've put in through the week um, and not going to have those nasty side effects of possible fluid retention. So that has been how I have broken up with the scales and it took much longer to explain that than I thought. Um, if you do have any other questions, feel free to send me an ask. So my ask box is always open for anons or otherwise. 
Um, I hope this has been a little bit helpful. Um, I will do an update every week. So next week I'm going to have a talk a bit about why I did hit a plateau. So that's going to get a little bit deep. So just get ready. Um, other than that, I hope you have enjoyed my Lady Beetle jumper, which I got and I feel very hilarious in, which I wore to work today. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next week. Bye!